Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. In this video series, we are discussing about platform events. In today's video, we'll see about the event-driven software architecture. Event-based communication revolves around publisher-subscriber model where a sender broadcasts a message and one or more receivers capture it. For example, in case of a radio station, broadcaster broadcasts the message at different frequency and listener needs to tune up to the specific frequency to listen to the specific message, right? So events get sent whether or not there are receivers listening to it and receivers don't acknowledge the event whether or not they received that particular event or not, okay? and event based communication takes place in near real time okay so there is some latency but uh, it's nearly a real time event what are the components of event driven system so uh, we have an event event is nothing but change in uh, state that is meaningful to a business process okay so uh, let's say in an online shopping system placing of an order is an event right then event message event message contains data about the event okay so let's say in in case of an event that is a placing of an order so order number or the product id so that could be the event message event producer so the publisher of an event message is nothing but the event producer so our online uh, shipping system uh, whenever an order is placed so it will produce an event right uh, so that uh, other systems can listen to the uh, event that order has been placed right so in that case online shipping system uh, online shopping system is our event producer next is event channel so a stream of events on which event producer sends an event messages and event consumers read those messages is nothing but an event channel okay so we have next event consumer so a subscriber to channel that receives messages from channel is nothing but event consumer okay so uh, event consumer will uh, receive the event messages and perform uh, further actions okay uh, next we have event bus so event bus is a communication channel uh, and a storage device service that enables streaming of an event using published subscriber model okay so event bus also enables a retrieval of stored event messages during the retention window okay so there is some uh, retention window till which that event will be present in a event bus next we'll see the architecture of publisher subscriber model so here we have an event bus and uh, event producers as well as event consumer so event producers will create an event and uh, event consumers will be listening to the event and those events will be uh, passed as uh, inside a channel through event bus okay what are the advantages of using event driven architecture so unlike request response communication model event driven model decouples the event producer from event consumers so there is a very less dependency only a syntactical dependency would be there for events and thus it simplifies the communication model in the connected systems okay so we don't have to make any request to server to obtain information about a certain state right so uh, what will happen just a system will subscribe to the event channel and it will be notified whenever a new state is occurring okay and also uh, any number of consumers can receive those particular events and they can react to same events okay when can we use a platform event in salesforce so uh, we can use platform event uh, either when we want to uh, pass event from a salesforce platform to external applications right uh, for example let's say we have an online shopping application uh, hosted on salesforce platform okay so whenever an order is placed on application the third party application that vendors who ships the order uses needs to be notified okay so those third party application what they will do they'll listen to the platform event fired by online shopping application in our salesforce right next we can also use platform events when uh, listening from external application to our salesforce platform okay so let's say consumer wants to return the purchased product okay 
so a return request will be sent to the vendor and intent to the salesforce org for processing right so external system will publish an event here and our salesforce uh, system the application hosted on salesforce system will be listening to the event okay and uh, further after listen uh, listening to the event it will perform some actions like uh, sending a confirmation mail to the customer that uh, your order will be returned right next is a platform to platform so we can use platform event within salesforce application only so for that uh, for example let's say we have an account deadline field on account and whenever an account deadline field is updated all the related cases are there in the account so those cases deadline field also needs to be updated with same deadline date okay so the, uh, here also we can use platform events uh, in the next video we'll see how we can define platform event and create instance of it okay so if you have any questions up till now you can write it down in the comment section thank you for watching this video do not forget to subscribe this channel